my boys, if you haven't did development mastery yet, you need to do it now. It's worth the diamonds. All you're gonna do is spend all them diamonds on a pity anyway. <laughs> What is up YouTube? It's your boy John and Dew, and I'm coming back at you with another Baseball Superstars 2021 video. My boys, we have got to talk. They have made something so OP. We got to talk about it, my boys. I am talking about the development mastery, my boys. How you get there? You go into your scenario, you make your, your, your player whichever one you want to make, and then after that, you come right over here and you go into the development mastery, which is right down here. I'm Boys, this is this is OP. This is OP, and we're gonna actually talk about it on why it's so OP. Okay, so development mastery. If you haven't bought it yet, I'm gonna advise you to buy it. The best way to buy it would be to go and basically finish whatever your rank up is. So let's say if you were at like let's say if you had like 1,300 players made and you were at like almost a 1,500. I would advise you to go ahead and finish making those 200 players or whatever with using the diamonds, power through it and boost through it and get get there as fast as you can. So that way you also would get maybe a UR ticket. Well, you would get the UR ticket if it was towards the 2000 mark. But you get what I'm saying, my boys. Finish, your, finish that level off, then buy the rest all the way up because you're not gonna really make 5,000 players, let's be honest. If you made 5,000 players, my boys, you are grinding at this game. Uh, most of us is not going to get anywhere close to that. So just best to go out there and buy it, my boys. But I want to talk about all these things in the Development Mastery. This thing, the Development Mastery is so OP, my boys. It is so OP. So first, we're just going to take it. You know, this this one, terrible because you really don't ever want to use large. But it, it does help if you, whatever, but you don't want to use large, but it's there um, in case, you know, you will get an extra five stamina. Not really anything that's valuable, but you get that one for free. That's the start. Then you get the, the gold up. 300 more gold pieces, my boys. I'll take that. My boys, this, wait till we get to the end because you're going to see how much gold we're freaking getting from development mastery like now that we have development mastery you don't even need gold trainers anymore my boys and i'm going to explain that even more later on why we don't need gold trainers anymore they need to do something else with gold trainers now because gold trainers are obsolete now my boys okay my boys move cores no longer need them my boys because if you got a lot of trainers I already give you a mood up event so maybe if you're in Shining Angels and you don't have Saru, then you might want to have a mood core on somebody. But besides that, you don't even need mood cores anymore, my boys. Because most trainers, like I said, they have a mood up event in the initial events that they have. Uh, so right here, this already gives you one mood up. You normally needed two mood up to get to max. Now you only need one mood up because right here in the development masteries, you're getting a mood up. That's huge, my boys. That's huge. Infinity up on either strength or int, my boys. Now, to be honest, to balance this, they probably should have made it like mental and int and strength and dex. But I'm glad they didn't balance it, my boys, because it makes it even more easier to make it to where you're getting even more beneficial things. So, right here, you either get the uh, infinity up for your int trainers or infinity up for your strength trainers on this step. The next one provides affinity up on your mental or affinity up on your dicks. My boys, I know y'all saw my videos of how I was running without perfumes before. This just make it even easier. Like having a more affinity on top of that, plus your affinity cores, um, plus even further on down the, down the road, I believe we get more affinity for um, Either if it's male or female, and we'll talk about that later too. So this is just this just adds so much to the to the game. Like right here, affinity on your gold trainers or affinity on your skill point trainers. Oh, here it is. Affinity on your female trainers or affinity on your male trainers. So that's already six plus infinity if you have female int trainers or 
six plus affinity for female mental trainers or however you want to freaking do it my boys this is so op it adds so much to the game on making your characters it's it's really really nice then you have here right here all trainer affinity up so on top of on top of all that you get another plus two like i mean my boys this is this is making where like perfumes it's gonna make perfumes obsolete like or you're just gonna be having you're gonna be starting off with like a hundred affinity if you have perfume and some good affinity cores i mean like i don't really think we're gonna need perfumes as much because of how much affinity we're actually starting off with which is insane and crazy right here max stamina up so now you're not even starting it with a hundred stamina you're having you're starting it with a hundred and three stamina which is great if i may add really really good you just never you could never have too much stamina to be perfectly honest like you could never have too much stamina because we don't ever want to lodge so you can never have too much stamina and i just i'm glad that they made changes like this um to help with developing characters int trainer event reward plus five percent so for your int trainers that's another five percent bonus for your dex trainers or mental trainers or strength trainers however you want to do it gold trainers as well skill point trainers another five percent to to however you want to do that and that's huge my boys huge every event an extra five percent like that's big like you know think about those events where you're getting that 100 100 stats or even more you know you're getting an extra five percent on that so it's really big love it to death adds up especially when you thinking about all the events that you get throughout the game female and then here's you go with another boost depending on if it's male or female do another five percent to that and then they come right here and add another three percent to all like i said the boost are insane it's like a 13 percent boost of what you can get for for some trainers on your event Damn! like that's huge and then all training stamina down negative one this one isn't as big you know because it's only a, a a one stamina down but that still adds up in the long run um but it's, it's, it's not it's not as big as, as some of the other games now here's where we get to our really really big games and here's where i think it gets a little op my boys so we're going to talk about these int bonus plus three or it could be strength bonus plus three it could be dex bonus plus three or mental bonus plus three and it's like having another facility upgrade my boys like that's big that's huge basically we at level four facilities um this that like that is so good um just so 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 good and when you're making your characters you're seeing it now like you know when we used to have runs where oh like in shining angels for example if you had a run where you had about seven thousand in or so 70 7500 in that was actually a good decent run but now we pushing these runs to where it's like you need you want eight to nine thousand in or it's a bad run um, and this is in game, of course. I'm talking about, you know, for uh, for Elf Town, you're now wanting, you know, nine int or 10k int for it to be a good run. Um, so it's put it's moved up the bar. And back then in Elf Town, you know, if you had an 8k, 8.5k or something like that, that was a great run for Elf Town. But now it's it's nine, 10k, and if you want to make that M, you need 11k int with the balance of the other stats. But this adds so much to that it's so op now here's where it gets so op to me not not on the on not on go when the go one's really worthless even the skill point one is really you know it's like uh, okay it's it's there but it's not like uh one of the reasons britcher has always been so good is because she's had the game reward all game reward up 20 percent you get a free well, not necessarily free because you are spending your diamonds and all that other stuff. But imagine on every run getting a plus 20%. This is not this is not lower to a 10% or a 5%. This is a plus 20% game reward all. This is madness. Making it where you don't even need 
You don't even need to worry about getting the free lectures anymore if you have great cores. You can now focus on just doing your run, buying electors at the end, buying all your gear that you need without a problem in the world. Like I have been running, like I, I made a, uh, a picture, a starting picture or, or for on my first run from the development mastery. With a good run, you can buy all your gear, buy electors, no problems at all. You never had that chance but since they added this, it is so great. Like having Ditto plus this in that Elf Town deck or a Forest Elf deck, whichever one you want to call it, so OP, so great. Uh, having Britcher with this as well, so OP, so great. Just made a third baseman, was able to buy all gear, was able to buy the, the mood stabilizer as well, which, which I didn't have Britcher's super. So Britcher tried to come and, and bring my mood down. I said, no, nah, I got you. Got him. <laughs> I got you. Mood, condition, whatever it's called. Boom. Stopped it. Blocked it. Still able to buy all my stuff. Still able to buy all my stuff. Gold is not even a problem anymore when I'm doing these runs. And it's because of this game reward off. For this alone, you should do and spend all your develop, all your diamonds on this development mastery just for the game reward up alone. Training reward all plus 3%. I cannot even believe they gave us a training reward all plus 3% on everything. So on top of all of the buffs you got, you got a training reward all 3% on top of everything. So no matter what, everything is getting another extra 3% boost. Like my boys, this is so OP as well. The game reward all is already OP. But this is just even more OP. Like, so for the price of a pity, you can be making players that are three to four tiers higher than what you can already make because of you can be uh, getting development mastery. You know, and, and, and three to four tiers may be a little of, a, of a exaggeration depending on where you are, but it is it's at least going to be, honestly, somewhere between two two tiers, like I said, two to four tiers. That, that's really where, where it would be at um uh, i've been doing it it's been amazing um definitely get out there definitely invest in development mastery right now do it it's worth the diamonds the only thing i would advise if you are new try grinding or or spending all your diamonds to the thousand before you do because if you see these are small little steps if you're new I would get to a thousand first before I start spending all my diamonds on upgrading this. Once I was at a thousand, I would do it. And the way I would grind to a thousand if I was new, I would just basically use uh, my diamonds to level up the characters. If you go into Steam Boys, you can use like 10 diamonds to make a player. And that's what I would do if, if I was new. So if I was new, I would just come here. So if I was new, I would just keep doing this. I would I would wait into um, the freaking uh, player development discount where we where it's like 20 per player now or something like that. The weekends where it's hot time, and and I would just come here and and grind out making as many players as I can. Um, that way I get all the mission rewards because if you're new for making a thousand players, you're gonna get all those mission rewards too from the growth mission. So you don't want to miss out on all those actual growth mission rewards like all this this stuff you want to get all that you get all that plus you get the 2020 ones you want to get all that so if i was new i would go and use those diamonds like from steam boys and everything else to push me to a thousand before i bought all the stuff if i'm in between i would do the same thing so let's say if i was at like 17 1800 players made i would steam boys and and buy until I got to 2000 that way I'll get the UR ticket as well and then buy the rest so I would basically do things of that you know be smart about it um, that's what I would do all right my boys this is the first player I've made with the development mastery now what I want to say about the development mastery and I've talked about it throughout 
it, it, it's so OP. Like, I, like with this run, I was able to buy my lectors. I got a perfect lectors on this, which doesn't happen much for me. But with it, I was able, I was able to buy my, buy my lectors. And not only that, I was still able to have enough gold to buy all my UR gear. And the reason why is because of that uh, game reward up. Like it is so OP, man. You you got it. You got to get into development mastery. You got to invest those diamonds into it. Like it's so OP. You get bigger bonuses, bigger trainings. It's just something you must do. I just made my third base as well, um, and we're making this third base. Once again, I was able to buy everything that I needed. I was able to buy my lectors. I even bought condition um, whatever to stop Britcher because I didn't take Britcher super. And Britcher tried to come and she tried to say, she tried to give me the, the mood down. And I was able to stop it because of, I, you got so much gold now because of you got the game reward up from the development mastery. Development mastery is so OP, my boys. You know, and, and the runs like this where you got like ditto in the game reward up from the development mastery or if you got Britcher in the game reward up from the development mastery, you get so much gold, my boys, to, to just buy and do whatever you want. This is my center fielder run with development mastery as well. Once again, was able to buy everything. This one doesn't even have Britcher in there, by the way. This one has has Xena. Um, I use her instead of Britcher uh, for my center fielder. I was able to buy everything on this was still able to buy the lectors as well let me find it let me let me find it was able to buy the lectors as well like with the game reward up like it's so op like normally with this build i would need a free lectors or i would need really big massive training trainings to do this but because of that game reward up is so wonderful to have it's like having a britcher no matter if Britcher's there or not. Um, so with this one, I was able to buy everything and still buy the the lectors. Like gold is not a problem. There's no gold trainers in here. Like, and that's the and that's gonna be another issue now. We're able to buy everything. Gold trainers are, are really obsolete now. But development mastery, you have to get it. You must get it. Get it. All right, my boys, I enjoy talking with you guys about the development mastery system. I hope you guys go out there and really spend your diamonds on the development mastery. Like it is something that they made that is quick and easy to get and, and obtain. Like it's not like team mastery. Let, let's go check out that, that slow team mastery real fast. You remember, you remember this? <laughs> You remember how, you know how slow this is? It's not this. Like, like this right here is terrible. You remember how, like, look how slow this is to get. You know what I mean? You, you gotta, we're gonna be working on this for years to come. But it's not slow like that. It's actually something that is very obtainable, very fast to get. And you make big gains from it, my boys. Get out there and get that development mastery right now. Don't even think another second about it. I promise you, it's worth it. It's worth it. With that said, my boys, that's going to be it for today's video. It's your boy, John and Do. I'm going to get out of here. You guys, make sure y'all stay safe out there. Take care of each other and one another. Peace.